Hello and um, welcome to a brand new day again. Um, last week we talked about new beginning and we said that your light will grow brighter and brighter and brighter that by the grace of God you will go from glory to glory to glory. So today as we start this new week I want to look at the issue of hope of hope um, and every time we talk about hope, one of the key things about hope is that when there is no hope, depression sets in. Whenever a person loses hope, depression sets in. So what do we do? Proverbs 13 verse 12, Proverbs 13 verse 12 says, Hope deferred makes the heart sick. Sickness of heart is depression. When the heart is sick, when the seat of the emotions is sick, that's depression. And the contemporary English version says, not getting what you want can break your heart. Not getting what you want can break your heart. The Good News translation says, delayed hope makes the heart sick. I, mean, I beg your pardon. When hope is crushed, <laughs> the heart is crushed. <laughs> when hope is crushed, the heart is crushed. When hope crushes, the heart is crushed. That's depression right there. Hope is what keeps us going. It's the hope that tomorrow will be better. It's the hope that we will be okay. It's the hope that things will work out. It's the hope that that spouse will finally come through and behave themselves. It's the hope that I will get married. It's the hope that I will have children. It's the hope that my, my papers will come through. It's the hope that I will get a good job. It's the hope that I will pass my board exams. It's the hope that um, uh, things will just work out. When anything... It's the hope that I will be healed. It's the hope that I would. Um, <laughs> it's the hope that I would be able to. I will buy a home of my own. I will buy a car of my dreams. Hope. And every time you have that hope, it keeps keeps you going. A simple illustration is just simply planning to go on a vacation. I remember. I think it was last year when. Um, my my classmates from high school when we all decided that we wanted to take a vacation together and so we we decided we'll all go on a cruise so a couple of us you know we did go the hope of all of us meeting again now some of us after so many years some of us we haven't seen each other in maybe um maybe 40 something years the the, the hope that we would meet the hope that we would have a good time, the, the hope that we were actually going to have a vacation, you should have seen the level of excitement. You should have seen how happy we all are. You should have seen the level of preparation. Remember again about two weeks ago, I talked to us about preparation. And as every day came closer and closer, the, the greater our excitement built up. There was one of us who we thought we'd be able to make it. And we were all excited. We'll see her again. And then a few days to when we were all supposed to set out flying from all over the world, it became apparent that she was not going to be able to make it. We kept struggling and fighting to see that, you know, things will work out. It had to do with her travel arrangements. But finally, the day before, we all realized that it wasn't going to happen. She was crushed. Our excitement was dampened. 
I mean, that's just a little thing. I mean, what is a vacation anyway? If you didn't go on a vacation last year, you can still go this year. You can still go next year. God preserving our life. You can go anytime. But there was disappointment. Remember again, I've talked to us about disappointment. You can imagine how it feels when that person sits in the doctor's office and the doctor says, I'm sorry. There's no hope of you being able to have a child. I'm sorry. There's no way you can be healed or you can be cured. They, they don't talk about healing. They talk about curing in hospital. Thank God we have Jehovah Rapha, the Lord, our healer. <laughs> you can imagine how that person feels who, that person they were supposed to marry says, I'm not interested anymore. Sometimes the invitation cards have already gone out. When hope is crushed, the heart is crushed. Depression. But Proverbs 13 verse 12 says, But desire fulfilled is a tree of life. Desire fulfilled is a tree of life. So, today, if one thing brings sickness, and death and another thing brings life what do you do every time you hear news that crushes your spirit find something find a word from god Find a substitute that will bring you life. I'm going to talk more about this tomorrow. When desire comes, it is a tree of life. When desire comes, it is a tree of life. Everything that crushes your spirit. Because believe me, when you hear that bad news and your spirit is crushed, if you are not careful and depression sets in, you will not be able to hear that other thing that will create in you a desire that will be fulfilled that will make you live. Don't die. Please, don't die. Don't let that news... Don't let that thing you just saw, that thing you just heard, that thing that somebody just sent to you, that thing that somebody just told you, don't let it crush your spirit. Because there's something else that you will hear. There's something else that you will see. There's something else that somebody will say to you, that God will speak to you, that will bring you life. You swap one thing for the other. Good news for you today. The God who is able to provide new beginning can take that bad news that you heard and in its place plant a beautiful tree of life that will make you joyful. There are many ways in which God can make our hearts glad. May the Lord make your heart glad today. May good news overshadow the bad news you just heard. May depression flee from you. I pray you will leave so that you will see the goodness of God that is coming in your life in the land of the living. Disregarding the sentence that has been given to you to crush your spirit. Live and not die. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Let hope arise in you. It's Fumio Villano. Reflections.